Yeah, I heard. I mean, but I mean that but Buster got some people to compete with. It's just to, but once again, a lot of them have done it already. No, somebody said Q tip. I thought that was stupid. I think I think it's like nigga, no. But I mean, is but not see Q tip Q tip makes sense for one. First off, Buster um his first look was with Q tip. So they're doing that. Yeah. And then um you know, Tribe Called Quest has an extensive catalog. Do they? Yes. Okay, scenario with a with your turn. Wait, oh, not not today, man. What Benita Applebaum? <laughs> not not today. Benita Applebaum. Not today. She got it going on, man. <laughs> Who else? Yo, what was it about Y Clef? <clears throat> uh, uh, y Clef and Buster Rhymes are supposed to battle. Say that's the one about my mama daddy thing. She said Obama, uh, he wasn't, uh, yeah, he talked to his dad every day. Yeah, oh boy, let me tell you something. If what's her name ever see her in the street, she gonna swing on her. Molly Kiram, no, the girl with the with the red hair he used to do the jump. Oh, oh, what's her name? Yeah. Rachel Nichols. Rachel Nichols. Rachel Nichols gonna swing on her, bro. <laughs> Rachel Nichols look like the woman in Lifetime movies that be hiding behind a dumpster and she come out and slash you. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this. I watch Lifetime movies daily. So, uh... <laughs> like, she's like the, the chick that steal the baby in the movie. Yeah. Or she'd be the one change her whole identity to look exactly like the wife. So when her back's turned, the husband has an affair with her, and he's like, I didn't even know. <laughs> I had no idea it was her. I'm ready to feel all this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, such a breeze. Such a cool breeze. That is breezy. That is breezy. Hey man, look. Um, on that though, that really happened in one of those Lifetime movies I was watching. The girl, and I've seen this on multiple. She changed her identity mm. so she could look like the wife, and then the husband was like all on her. And then the wife pops in, and she's like, "What are you doing?" He was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> like that would be the coolest way to get a cheat off. <laughs> you want to get one of your little cheats off real quick, man? You just have an imposter girl. Like, look, man, if we gonna do this. This is how you gotta look. How she get in the house? I don't know, baby. She crazy. I thought it was you <laughs> the whole time. She cooked. It tastes just like your food and everything. I cooked that. Oh man, I thought it was you. Oh man, what's good with y'all? Hey, hey, you know, man, you know. It's like we could hear the wind from your ocean. Yeah, man, how do you how you manage that, man? I like that. That's oh, y'all can hear? Oh, it's no, not, yeah, yeah, man. It's not me. We had a wave splashing. That's not me. 
<laughs> you can still, y'all can hear something for real? Nah, not no more. Yo, but yeah. how did you do that? Like, how did you make your sound effect really come to life? Yeah, I'm just the ocean. Wait, let me make sure the sun's on the right side. Yeah, see, I'm just basking in the sun. I like, I like that. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to Black D University, episode number 67. Oh, no, we're getting close. Yes, episode 67. In the building is always with Mike E. Winfield, you will never believe what someone told me yesterday. We'll talk about that later. Then we got B.T. <laughs> Kingsley out in the, the tropical spot in Lance Woods. Here, man, breaking it down, black and white. Hey, man, now you got to tell us what somebody told you yesterday. I'm right. curious. It's super man, curious. They out here telling me I'm the, I might be the greatest of my generation. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't entertain that type of conversation, man. I'm just here because I'm a vessel for people, man. <laughs> Get away from me with all that stuff, man. So what y'all been up to? <laughs> I did this fire ass show yesterday with my uh my home uh Mikey Winfield. And hey, man. Was, it was a, a a legit amazing lineup by happenstance. Absolutely, man. And, and in all honesty, I just want to put on great shows as we all do, but right. I never thought it would be arguably one of the most talented lineups yeah you know so and uh that's what it ended up being man and uh you know what man i put myself in a mentality it's all about fun and growth right yeah and everything else is it's like, that it's like where you at right now man every day should feel like that man it should feel like a tropical island it's a, uh, i've been living you know it's always an interesting uh thing when you're in the process of working out new stuff like everything's like um you know really close but really far away type shit it's like mm -hmm. oh i'm working on i'm working on a new set consistently that's always interesting because that's really the job like ripping is 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 the byproduct of, of the work but like when you got new bits, you're like, all right, they're, they're not ready yet, or new ideas, and you just ain't fully flushed them out yet. That's just always interesting. Once you realize it's a, it's the job, it's not as frustrating, but it can be at the gate. Yeah, man, you looking for something in the water or something? Yeah, <laughs> a bag of candy over here in the water, but I feel like it's for Halloween, hey. so I ain't hey. gonna open it. But it's right here. What what now? What bag is it? Like the assorted, yeah. This is just in the in the sand. Oh yeah, got oh, it, yeah. got it, got the, it. The assorted, the assorted Halloween candy is always interesting because they always put. It's like they hide one candy in there that they know ain't gonna sell on its own. Yeah, so you got Reese's. Let's, let's talk about top tier. We got Reese's, Snickers, M&M's, Twix, Kit Kat, Peanut, M&M's, and uh, what's the names? And then there's those randos. You got a Milky Way. All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on the Milky Way. Then you got a York Peppermint Patty. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't nobody. No kids, no kids eat that. <laughs> we got all eat York Peppermint Patty, man. Something's up with that kid. Yeah, Almond Joys. You got a hundred grand, you know, that hundred grand, that Milky Way, that Almond Joy, that York Peppermint Patty are all sus. I'll be honest with you. I can roll with the hundred grand. I can roll with the York, not the York. I can roll with the, um, with the, with the Almond Joy, surprisingly. Ugh. Hmm. That, that yeah, York, I don't know about that. That York and that Milky Way. 
That's that's punishment. I'll yeah. do the I'll do the Milky Way over the Almond Joy for sure, for sure. Nah. Yeah, man, Milky Way ain't nothing to it. It's just nothing. I mean, I, I remember when I was young, when uh, like there was a razor blade in some of the candy, like you know, we would still eat the rest. It wasn't like you had to just keep searching it or whatever. Right. It's like once you find how they tried to get you, it's not gonna yeah. be multiple pieces. And who ain't like you bite gotta bite the candy. So it's like, you know, I, that wouldn't catch me. I ain't taking just wasn't it, you know, right. I ain't just swallowing a, a razor blade to the face. Yeah, any, any kid who swallowed a razor blade deserved to die. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's like you ain't see that. It was, yeah, it was you, were, you wasn't gonna make it out. in this world, young man, anyway. Yeah, right. yeah, you had a you had a and plus you got you got a little mouth. I don't even know you was moving too fast. Slow down, chew the candy. Yeah, right. Now imagine somebody got the razor blade, but it was in the M and M's. You know what I mean? You just ain't yeah. you ain't that bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mean you poured the razor blade in your hand <laughs> and, ate, and ate a little knife with the candy. Yeah, man, what's wrong with that kid? You like that kid deserves his tongue cut out <laughs> or the size of his mouth cut, you know? No, I mean? I'm, and I said, I'm mouth. Like, M&M tastes weird. Yeah. yeah. You know what's messed up? When you had the razor blade in it, we still went to all those same houses the next year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got it from one of them homes. It was like, hey, man, maybe they won't do it <laughs> this year. You, you're, hey, y'all, y'all remember when uh when they said anthrax was hitting? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then it was like, look through the mail, and I guess you was checking for like a powdery substance. Yeah. But then some houses was giving out pixie sticks. Mm. I'm for fun you, dip. Yeah, and that's fantastic. This is a part of the substance. Is this anthrax? Is it pixie stick? I mean, we'll find out. Be one one anthrax. Didn't that explode? Wasn't that supposed to be what it was? No, nah, exploded it, or just you ate it and killed you. It, you touched it. Yeah, they're saying you touched it. They were saying they was putting it on the mail. Oh, oh, okay. You know, but they was sending it normally to the White House. I don't know why regular people thought they was gonna get it. <laughs> Yo, man, how narcissistic? How important you think you are if you get the anthrax mail? <laughs> it's just the same bills you always get, bro. Open that shit. It's on your smudge. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why did why did the cycles use razor blades? Like, what was the point outside of like annoyance? Like that sounds like a great like you, there's a bunch of I don't know if razor blades is the is the way to 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 poison people or like to to hurt them. Oh. They just don't it don't sound useful. Like you could have sure. put there's other ways you could annoy it. Like if you would have put like a like a, a tooth uh, like a of toenail, <laughs> you slide a toenail into a Reese's, you might catch somebody off guard with that one. Mm. And you might as well die. You get one of them hard toenails in your face. Maybe it was an accident the first time it happened. Somebody raised a blade, just accidentally fell in there. Some parent found it. And then people was like, hey, man, let that be the thing then. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't... Rocks, pebbles. Oh. Dirt, glass. Mm-hmm. Glass would be way more useful than a razor blade. I don't even know where you would buy a razor blade from. I don't even know what you would use a razor blade for outside of cocaine. Nah, the people would be shaving. Oh! You cutting boxes. Some people cut boxes. Oh, so, okay, so that, that eliminates all your black, uh, all your black, what's name? Because niggas don't fuck with razors like that. Not, not them, not razor blades. Except at the barbershop when the guy got the long one. That so, he does, okay. You know, the one he put on. The, the fake, color purple. Yeah, the one with, for those of y'all that were beards and stuff. Let me see. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, yeah, I definitely ate the candy anyway, though. It was nothing better than, people don't really decorate their house for Halloween like they do for Christmas, though. They go, they go ham for the for the Christmas holiday. I don't know, man. I think Halloween they be gone. Yeah, man. I done seen all types of big ghosts and really. 
Yeah, man. Maybe I've I, I been seeing a couple. You know, they got some blocks. Only example I have is Tony Roberts. Hmm. Have y'all ever been to his Halloween joint? No. Nah. Let me, let me tell y'all something. This nigga is the um. This nigga is the Walt Disney of Halloween. <laughs> Take it serious like that. I'm talking about so shit. You wouldn't understand the level of serious he takes it. First off, the decorations is crazy. Mm. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm. Right? Like um, like like home alone Christmas decoration level doubled. Yeah. Right? Then he turns his house into a haunted house. Oh, okay. those were always the jab. When when people did that, that was always the jab. Keep Tony going. strikes me as somebody that want to scare you when you walk around the corner. Like he would be <laughs> <laughs> So he turned his crib into total haunted house. Mm -hmm. So he has like a, a route that he sends people through his house. Through, he, he got two garages, so through the garages. But that's, I'm talking about smoke machines, music, are you serious? Uh, I'm I'm about to find some pictures. <laughs> um, and then he hires all of us and himself to like dress up and scare wow. people. So like it's like a it's a whole How much it's, a, it it's like an escape it's an escape thing. And at the end, you get some candy. I'm talking about kids be coming in and screaming and running out and, ah! and they just be crying and they just, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Like, I'm, I'm about to find these pictures. It's like insane. Um, and so he'll, I don't think we're going to do it this year because, um, you know, because we didn't do it last year clearly because of COVID. Yeah. And this year is still kind of COVID as far as how people feel. It's yeah, very COVID. Yeah, and then we're gonna be in Jacksonville, and we get back on Halloween Day. Gotcha, it takes a like a full day and a half to to prep. Mm, Y'all got a rose? <laughs> yeah, I I wish I wish you was joking, <laughs> but it's like there's a level of like he be getting mad at people who ain't on their post, right? Nigga, you're supposed to be a zombie. Zombies can't yawn. Nice. <laughs> mm. a, Halloween always has the potential to be top holiday of the year. It just don't always, um, it'll always get the, like you got to give Halloween the attention to make it that. If you do, it's Halloween's a great time. But if you don't, you it'll be it'll be super if you want it to be lackluster, it can be. Yo, I think Halloween would be the greatest unanimous decision holiday if we served good food on Halloween. So now you're saying we get to dress up weird and we eat yams. Like if we did that all in the Candy same day. Yams. It would literally be the best holiday. But since there's no food attached to it. People go with like mm. Thanksgiving or Easter or something like that. They like mm. oh, that's, those are my joints because you know. Imagine if all your family came over. You know how people would get together for you know those other ones. If they all came together, dressed in some weird shit, and ate a good meal cooked just, by whoever cooks. Just just a vampire, a werewolf, just eating <laughs> macaroni and cheese at the table. Yeah, how much fun would that be? You with your cousin, you don't barely see, but then they dress like Ronald McDonald or something, you know, and y'all just sitting next to each other talking about stocks, mm. but eating a good ass meal. You're not telling me that wouldn't take over as the best holiday un unanimously. That's real. It just needs some food to test because right now all you got is a candy. Right. Right. Mm. And if you don't have a good a good candy year, then that's kind of fucked off too. Fuck around with a bag full of York peppermint patties. <laughs> you mad as hell. Yeah. Y'all used to steal bags. We, we used to act like we did, but nah, we didn't. 
Good. I, I used to get my bag stole. Yeah, I used to shuffle some some candy over in mine in the count. Like, you know what I mean? When I was trying to pour it all out and, and like kind of see what you did, I might, you know, take my little foot, my little footy, and slide some of your candy on mine when you ain't paying attention. Yeah. Or trade it. Can you imagine a kid first time trick or treating, like for real, for real? Like this is you like this ain't the kid costume. This is like the seven, eight, nine, where you kind of you had some say so in it, and you you understand the elements of the fear, and you go and you feel like you had a great trick or treat day, and it's your first time. You like, man, I got all these little silver candies, and you take that that oh, it's chocolate. You just love chocolate. You used to Reese's. And Snickers, and you just take a York peppermint patty, full blast to the face. <laughs> fucking disgusting. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Man, that is hilarious. Is but that, that a- you gotta understand, this is what the this is when it's still daytime. We're just taking pictures. <laughs> Who is that? The That's, first two uh, was Tony. Jeff. We call them the Colonel. Man, I thought, man, all right, that's creepy. Because yeah, I definitely yeah. thought it, I thought it was a statue at first. Did he? No, that's how. That's that's yeah. He just stand there with that, and then he'll just move on you when a kid is walking up. <laughs> so you you go to try to touch the little uh, skeleton playing the harmonica, and then he reach out and touch your shoulder. Hey yeah, man, so I mean, is that what we should be doing now? Like, is that what Halloween is about scaring kids, right? Yeah, but that's what Halloween's a fear. It's the fear holiday. Fear is like that one emotion you don't get to tap into that often, like on purpose. Unless you're like just a person that like enjoys scary movies and shit, but it's like that random sensation. Fear yeah, is like, it's like the, it's like the taint of sensations. You're like, ooh. <laughs> 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 it ain't getting head. It ain't fucking. It ain't really like getting your balls sucked or kissing. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Look under the balls. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you're right. Oh, thank you. You're right. So let's not bring food into this holiday. Let's just leave that one. Because then fear. You know, man. I don't want to have the thought of fear in my head when. I'm being served food and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, oh yeah, touche. That's probably why you fuck around and choke on the turkey leg. And man, now that I think about it, I was gonna consider running out and scaring kids because that's what it's about. Y'all just described, I was just going, you see a black dude running, but I ain't trying to get shot or nothing either, man. I feel like more mm-hmm. people is probably gonna leave the house with their gun and stuff. I'm Now I'm just thinking of like creative ways to like fuck with people for Halloween since it is that time of year. Yeah, you just got to make sure they celebrate, so you don't just scare regulars. Yeah, as a, like you could go because you could go full April Fools. Like if you just like was driving around in a creepy car while kids was like trick or treating, and shoot shoot guns in the air. You know what I mean? Like real guns, paint paintball guns, BB guns, cat no, guns. No, real guns in the air. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I see this stuff happen in movies all the time, man. Where they um they try to plant a scene that was supposed to be a joke, and then it turns real, and then it really scares people. Cause mm-hmm. I was thinking about doing a fake abduction. So, man, in a big group, you know, I'm gonna have my kid in there. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna come with them amongst them, like they really with them, <laughs> and I'm gonna just get out with the mask, steal my kid, throw him in the car, and pull off. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They kidnapped this kid. Right. <laughs> That'd be a hey, Halloween pranks should absolutely be a thing. This is getting more and more interesting as as we come. Know, you start looking around like you was thinking about uh, pranks you could pull off on children. Yeah, because April Fools is like, and it should really be celebrated more. Like for parents, you get to just scare the kids. The whole day, like you just, oh man, all the bullshit they put you through through the whole year. 
Mm-hmm. It's like you you been fucking up. It's like this before I can buy your Christmas gifts. Let me get all this shit out my system. <laughs> your daddy never coming home. It's like, <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Because I'm I was, I'm thinking literally about the uh, what it said. The caption above the picture lens it said. Uh, just uh, was was out scaring kids all night. I was like, "Oh, that's great." I was never in the Halloween though. Like back when back when I was, because I used to live off of candy because mm-hmm. they got they got all your vitamins. So, especially Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, yeah. I, I was never into Halloween. This is what I used to do. I used to just wait till the day after, two days after Halloween, and go buy all that Halloween candy when it was seventy five percent off. Mm-hmm. And you get like the big, big bag of M&M's, like mm-hmm. the big, big bag, and be like 85 cent. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. the Reese's, all of that. And you get like a, a, a ungodly amount of candy for like $4. Yeah. And go eat like a king. Man, but that's, that's the thing. So we don't have food. You got the candy, right? You got uh, you got the costume because when you get a little older, then costumes can get it. What's the name? But costumes go from scary to to slutty, real fast. Mm-hmm. There's like no in between. It's just like kind of creative when you're younger, and then slut, full slut. It's like almost like almost like hot because you get you outgrow Halloween and then you grow back into it. Mm-hmm. Halloween got a the age range between like. 16 to 18 ain't nothing popping, but 21 Halloween back popping again because mm-hmm. she got her titties out. You're like, Oh man, Halloween got her titties out today. Boo, boo, bitch, boo, <laughs> boo, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, because in uh, in LA, you know, like, especially like in um. Uh, West Hollywood, like the LGBT district for uh, for LA, Halloween's like huge in LA. Is that official? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes, like thousands and thousands of people just walking the streets in all these outrageous costumes. Uh, and you know, and and those communities, like the LGBTQ plus communities, like they be like, yes, this is it's almost their holiday. Like they just be out there wilding out, but everybody go, everybody go for Halloween. But like, also I do, um, like I used to do Universal. Universal's a good goddamn time on Halloween. The Halloween Horror Nights. They change all the rides up. All the a lot of the rides go backwards on Halloween. I don't even know if they're supposed to go in reverse, but they do. Mm. I think all the rides, all the rides go backwards, and there's like scare districts. So like. When you first walk in the park, like that's the crazy part is like the horse going on every while you're walking. You're just walking through the park and like the first first hole, you know, before you get to the first ride, it's just scary shit everywhere. The motherfucker just, yeah, chainsaw, ah, werewolf, it's just like fucking everywhere. Yeah. That shit gets great. I'm going right. to uh Six Flags, man. They do that. They do it too. So what they got is um, it just be random zombies just walking through the park with you. But mm-hmm. they don't announce themselves. Mm-hmm. So you go on looking for the haunted house or you go on looking for the ride and then some random zombie will just be like, oh, and you're like, fuck. You yeah. Know, you get coming because you don't even see it. <laughs> and that's how they do, man. And I'm like, hey, man, it's, it's all right. It's cool, you know? You you ever have one of the one of the people take it too far? Dude, we was in the we was in a ride for we was in a line for some ride. We were we were exiting for some ride. And it's like, as soon as you came out the door, that motherfucker was right there. Like, wow, he was like, oh shit. And had like a little run and the nigga kind of chased. And then we, we was like, whew, we said, and then the nigga start running again. We start, he's all like, nigga, stop chasing us, bro. Like, like <laughs> What's scarier than that, getting chased? <laughs> nah, he chased us way out of his area. Like at some point in time, we were just like, nigga, like about to go get food. And that nigga was still chasing us. We was like, all right, my nigga, like you, cause there's areas like, <laughs> It's like this section is the purge area, and this section is uh, witchcraft, and this se- it's like sections. 
So when you're not in the sections, you know, it's like, it's still theme thematically Halloween, but ain't nobody over here. But, you know, like just regular patrons. And it's like, nigga, why are you, bro, you, your district is way back there. You get fucking, it's a purge nigga didn't chase me all the way into the werewolf area. It's like, my nigga, go yeah, on. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like when you shoplifting and like the uh, the security guard only has a certain jurisdiction. Yeah. After that, they got to let you go. And you're like, nigga, I've already made it to base. Like, right, right, right. You're never getting this Snickers back. <laughs> right. This shirt belongs to me now. Uh, Ross lost prevention. <laughs> it's yeah, too late so now. Soon. Are you you the actual Michael Myers? Man, that it was going. Oh, this is the craziest one. So one of the places that they're not, they're not really, they're not too close to the food or too close to the bathrooms. But sometimes, you know, the human body has habits. Right. So it's like this is kind of your level playing field. So this shit and this shit takes effort from you. So like there'd be like a little person that was a monster and you don't see that motherfucker. So it's another scare. Like, hey, little nigga. Hey, like that. <laughs> nigga, they had a motherfucker on stilts. So you're not this is your periphery. You're never thinking to look up for fear. They had this gangly motherfucker on these stilts. This nigga had left his area and was just standing like by the trees by the bathroom. And niggas would come out of the bathroom. And if you right here, I expect my fear here. This nigga would come from like the top. <laughs> nigga and touch you, nigga. He did this out after he scared me. I watched this nigga for a good 45 minutes because it was hilarious. Cause you didn't see him going in. The nigga would just kind of come around the corner and touch you like, ah! like that. And they're not supposed to touch you. That's what I'm saying. Some of these niggas be taking their job too far. PT says, <laughs> I expect my fear in this area right here. Yeah, man. You got like fear expectations. Like if the fear is gonna come, it's gonna be somewhere around this area. You, you expect fear, you know, you want to, I expect fear on uh, scary shit. You sitting down, Mike, you just chilling. And nigga, a spider crawl out of your afro, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nigga, why are you, how did you get here? I should have saw you come. At some point in time, I should have been aware of you. Mm. If, you know what I mean? How, you got past my vision and got to me. It's like, nigga, how did you, how did you get here? It's like, hey, man, it's a spider on your face. On oh, my fucking face. That bitch yeah. on my shoe or some shit. I was like, oh, well, I, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Damn, that's crazy. That's why, and I, I could never, um, like, you, you know how, like, people do that, like, date type stuff, and they take, like, a, a lady with them to, like, some scary shit? Yeah. I, I can't do it, because then she she gonna realize that I'm I'm not the one for her. <laughs> you mean when you push her into the uh, house or something? All of that. Oh, so she's gonna soon see. Oh, he's not the protector that he shouldn't be. <laughs> not in these situations. What's the scariest movie you ever seen? Uh, Twelve Years a Slave. That shit was terrifying. I think it was in the mall buying, in the store <laughs> buying uh, goods, and he made him a slave. <laughs> scary, scary, scary film that was. <laughs> I don't watch scary movies, bro. Like, uh, I remember, so I used to collect movies. Mm. I used to have like, Lots and lots and lots of DVDs. So I just would buy movies that was popular. Mm. Um. So I remember uh, I bought all of the saws, mm -hmm. and and I never watched them. And then one night I was like, "Yo, let me just watch Saw." Mm. Terrible idea, right? And and from what I understand from people who are super in the scary movie, Saw is not even scary. It's more gory. Yeah, Fuck psychological. That. Yeah, psychologically like disturbing. Yeah, I was, it was, yes, it disturbed me. I was fucked up. 
I watched it. But the thing about the first saw, I'll say probably the first two or three saws, the first one, the shit was such a good movie. Mm -hmm. The plot, the twist and all that. Yeah. I was, like, I was like scared, but I was like, yo, that shit was kind of ill. You want to watch part two? Let me watch part two. <laughs> But I said, I'm going to wait till daytime to watch that bitch. It was nighttime. I was home by myself. I was like, oh, this ain't, this ain't going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch this bullshit at nighttime. Ain't nobody here. And I was like, I was in a bigger house. There's too many doors and rooms and mm -hmm. backyards. I was like, oh, yeah, this nigga going to come. It's, he, he got too many ways to get in. <laughs> and he got something against you and you don't even realize it. I have no idea what I've done. But I've done something. Learn sports. <laughs> we want to play a game. <laughs> like, no, like, nah, not really. You trying who? <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. Remember, you were playing that basketball game, and you said it wasn't a foul. Well, now to get away, <laughs> we're gonna do something foul to you. <laughs> <laughs> You should just get, you know you fouled me. Who, James, is you? No, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's Jigsaw. <laughs> James, James. <laughs> so, so I remember, look, there's no joke, bro. <clears throat> I remember it was either the second or third one. I watched it and it was broad daylight. Let's just say it was two in the afternoon, a sunny, a sunny day in Sacramento. I remember I watched it and I went outside after. <laughs> I just went outside because I was like, yo, let me let me give myself a chance mm. with open air. Right, 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 right. Because some someone's in the house. <laughs> I don't know who I just watched this movie and I'm for sure I'm not here alone anymore. It's the crevices that I wasn't able to get to that the niggas in there. Exactly. So <laughs> You can't go look for him. That's a that's a death. That's setting yourself up for the bullshit. If you go look for him, he's gonna come from behind you. Yeah. Everybody know that. Yeah. So I say if I go outside, at least I got the whole earth. To, right. To 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 kind of, you know what I mean? I could fight back a little bit. <laughs> you just keep spinning around in circles. Yeah, but in the house ain't nobody, ain't nobody seen it. Mm. I'm just gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. They so you did. Have you seen the new song, the one, the Chris Rock? Absolutely one? not. No. <laughs> no. Man, I thought that was a joke when it first came out that Chris Rock was involved in Saw. Now, yeah. um, I can't knock it because I haven't seen it, but that, that I... always felt like an unusual choice. But I'm not gonna hate on nobody black getting an opportunity. He's just like, hey, hey. More than an opportunity, that nigga bought the Saw franchise. Mm. So, so uh, it's him, Samuel Jackson. It's it's reasonable. It's, it's Saw. This is as good as the other Saws were. Saw the one thing about Saw that never made that was always like I always knew wasn't my actual life is everybody's so sweaty in Saw. Like every moment, everybody was hella greasy. I'm like, why am I so goddamn greasy in this movie? And the next time you watch, if if you see Saw, you just notice all the people are like dumbass shiny. Lance, the next time you watch it, like just uh not gonna happen. <laughs> but if Chris Rock is in it, I might. Who wanna play a game? <laughs> Six hours, is that you? That's a terrible Chris Rock impression. And but... and, and, and Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> they're, both, <laughs> they're both in it. Yo, somebody that motherfucker it, trying to play a motherfucker. Uh the Chris play. Rock was good, man. It was all right. Yeah. Chris Rock was all right. I'm serious. Rock on hey man, I'm telling you, duties on stage. I'm telling you. What was the other one you did the other day? It was good. Oh, Barack. Yeah, yeah, the Barack man. Now you got Barack and Chris Rock. Man, mm -hmm. Yo, Saturday man. Night Live. Here I come. Yo, you ready to jump on IG Lives now and just beat them the whole time, man? And your shit, your shit's about to go. <laughs> Fully man. committed. You hey, know what's man. funny too. Is when you see somebody that does good impressions, that's really what you're basing it on. Like, I was, I, I, I'm gonna hit Atheon next time I see him. I'm like, bro, Atheon's doing so well on social media right now. It's like, I think people like forgot. Like, it's like, oh man, this guy's hilarious. It's like, no, 
A feels like one of the first social media niggas to me. Like he felt like he was one of the first, like the first YouTuber, so on and so forth. At this point in time, somebody should probably. Well, I, I'm imagining that niggas come up to Atheon Crockett and be like, "Man, you should uh, somebody, you should have your own show, bro." <laughs> <laughs> you mean again? <laughs> you mean again, nigga? Fox, you was right. You fucked it up. You fucked up the bag. <laughs> Because he's what he Avion does great impressions. But I like I like this Barack you got going, bro. Yeah, man. I like the Chris Rock too. Yeah, man. Gotta let Do you like my Chris Rock? <laughs> That's powerful. Hey man, I don't feel like people do enough new people. Who hasn't been who hasn't been impersonated that should be impersonated? You know what I mean, man? You you hear a hundred yeah. Bernie Max, you hear a hundred DMXs, you know, Bill Cosby's. Who I heard I heard Jay Farrell do a Meg the Stallion the other day, like two weeks ago. That's unbelievable. I would yeah. love to see it. And man, yeah. what I say about Jay Farrell, man, he's one of the first to pull out new original. Yeah. People. He just kept doing the ah, like the little sound that she make. I can't do it because hold on, I can do it. With, my camera. When off. when Godfrey done the Steve ah. Harvey, that was new and that was yes. great. Oh yeah. My God. Right. That they was fantastic. That. <laughs> Steve laughed, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, Steve. Um Yeah, who who it? Who need to be impersonated? I think I gotta do it. Somebody should do the baby for sure. The like baby, baby for sure. When Jay Farrell, no, and I heard Jamie Foxx doing Dave Chappelle. That was really good. He was. He was doing Dave. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Jimmy has an amazing Tyson. You saw oh, the yeah. I ninety seven shit. Yeah, not the not the loud comedic Tyson, just the quiet Tyson. I was like, this shit is captivating, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Floyd Mayweather should be in pers- impersonated more. Oh, Floyd should definitely. Floyd uh, should definitely do for more Floyd. People should do de- definitely do more Giannis. Only person I seen with that is Mike. Only one, yeah. man. Only one. We won. We won first game. Uh, <laughs> uh, Did y'all see him yesterday? Oh my god! Your I game just, yesterday, Giannis was crazy. I just work hard, you know. I I give out great to my team. I tell them that, uh, you know, we work hard. This is game one. This means nothing, and uh, we just got to just uh, you know practice and uh, just be willing. willing. Uh. <laughs> it's, people that, it's people that know it's people that know Giannis they know that one it's on the way <laughs> wait till we get to 100 I'm gonna have this shit mastered <laughs> <laughs> no I, uh, don't don't do Bob Sumner nah, nah don't do that don't do that <laughs> he don't like that <laughs> he don't like that comment just now nah nah yeah. I'm not really interested. In- uh, oh, fuck it, man. I'm man, I'm gonna get my nigga fire. Look, bro. This nigga Nick Carthan, man. Rest in peace, bro. This nigga had the most hilarious Bob Sumner, bro. <laughs> Bob, you can't get mad about it because he not here no more. And nigga, that shit was funny so bob used to work with uh another dude named carlos <laughs> Nigga. oh my god every time I think about, let me tell you the two things that happen when i think about my, this nigga dick <laughs> it's bob Sumner impression he would just like a sad comic and he'll be like, so let me tell you about <laughs> Oh my God, I miss this nigga so much. This nigga be like, so 
<laughs> Let me tell you about when I first met Chris Rock. Carlos, get the car, nigga. <laughs> Carlos, get the car was the greatest shit I ever heard in my life, nigga. <laughs> Carlos, get the car. <laughs> Cause I never, this never happened. There was never like you would see Bob and Carlos at the same time, but there was never a world where there was never a world where he would tell that nigga to go get the car. <laughs> <laughs> I, Bob really like was more Ubered everywhere. I don't nigga, Carlos, get the car, nigga. <laughs> Oh my God, that shit was so funny to me. Every time when I think of Nick, that's what comes into mind. Carlos, get the car. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. When I think of Bob Sumner, that's what pops in my head. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that oh. sound like the Dudley boys. Diva, get the table. <laughs> right, right. Knowing him, that might be the reference point because that nigga love wrestling, man. Oh. <sighs> Bob might be mad about it, but you can't be mad because Nick ain't with us no more. But that shit was funny, nigga. So, you know about Laugh Mob? Carlos, get the car! That nigga would <laughs> he would do it every time I saw him, bro. He would do that shit every time I fucking saw him, nigga. I'm like, bro, nigga, that's so funny. All right, anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, do we we introduce Joe? What's uh, what's the stories we have today? Hey man, we got a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of stories, man. Oh my god! Hey, let's start with uh, famous people stuff, because we got some famous people news, man. Um, <sighs> Doctor Dre got served with divorce papers at his grandma's funeral. It's a cold game, bro. It's ice cold out here. That's a cold game. The and. It's crazy because most rich people are really aware of it, but you can't, when you get served with uh, papers, they have to touch your hand. Like, it's like some weird law to my understanding. Like, it's like- Paper to paper contact. Yeah, it has to have paper, paper that, paper to what? You know, like your hand gotta be on the other side of the paper and their hand gotta be on the other side of the paper. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, you gotta, they you gotta touch their hand. If if you just lay it in front of them, that don't count. They can say they didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know what you're buying, get it. <laughs> if if it's if you mail it to them, none of that shit certified mail, they can sign for none of it. If it don't touch their hand, nigga, they did not get it. So, like, there's all these weird ass creative stories about how people get it. So, first of all, they gotta know where you're gonna be at. So to pull up to a nigga funeral, uh, nigga's grandma funeral, and give him try to give him the paperwork there, that's savage. To my understanding, it also failed too. He didn't get it, and nigga Dr. Dre just left the, the papers at the at the gravesite and just left, <laughs> just let them fall. But then they made the news story, so the news story is almost like documented proof. You know, I heard people was upset that they served him at the grandma's funeral as if it was somebody else's funeral. It'd been cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> If it was a second cousin funeral, that would have yeah. been fine. Yeah, he didn't even know him that well. That was a good place to get it, you know, to serve him. It's, it's interesting because at this point, why do they still do it that way? Like, it feels like you should be able to get, like, divorced via text now. No, oh, man. Got to I, think I ain't get no text. I ain't get no text. I don't lose trouble. I changed my number. I lost my phone. I mean, it got to be a better what? <laughs> we, we, could, we, could, we could FaceTime the judge and let him know, hey, we ain't doing this no more. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't getting no paper. I just do that. <laughs> That's and the and your and your lawyer, if you got a good lawyer, they'll they'll lie for you and like that's gotta be frustrating in the in the law space. You know he got them goddamn papers. I don't know what you're talking about. Judge is like <laughs> these niggas, man. <laughs> Well, it, 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 you can do it on national TV. It was on TV. Oh, what's TV? I don't know what you're talking about. I had on my dark shades. Right. I can't even see out them bitches. That imagine somebody texting you the divorce papers and then you use like a, a DocuSign, you sign them bitches and send them right back via text and it's all done. Yeah, no. Nah, Why couldn't life be that easy? 
Oh, they you well, they only they only do it. You only get served shit that you don't want. So something's in these paperwork he don't want. It's not that he don't want the divorce. Divorce. There's something else in there. It might be a lawsuit. It might be a settlement. It might be anything that they're trying to get from. Him. Like the this might be the alimony paper. How much she say she want? It's in that in that envelope is that uh three hundred million or however much she say she's supposed to get a month. He's like, oh no, I, I ain't never get it. <laughs> it was like two million a month or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, you got to get it next month. I ain't never touch it. I don't know what you talking about. I heard she wanted her name on the headphones. <laughs> Beach by Andrea or whatever her name is. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. No, she if, made one beat. Maybe she inspired them. That's what people go by. You know, yeah, they made it, but you know, I was there. I was there the whole time doing it. So I should be entitled. She ain't find Eminem. Right would where would you find you maybe can't... she drove him to the airport when he went and got Eminem? Mm. He wouldn't have got there if she wouldn't have drove him. Mm. LAX too. Yeah, it's busy. LAX is a uh, LAX is, is rough. Right. Where would you see Dr. Dre though? If you just need to serve this nigga, if you need to sue him and serve him, where would if because because there wasn't I've heard of extremely creative stories about how they try to get to you. Fat burger. I feel like, hmm. Go ahead. You said fat burger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm trying to think of the most. If I'm a lawyer and I'm trying to pass off this paperwork, where's the most creative? How's the most creative way to do it? I got nothing. I think if you was a waiter, that'd be interesting. Like you handing that nigga a menu, mm. not paying attention. So, like, All right, so check out our specials. He'd be like, "Got your ass." So you've been served. Thank y'all, son of a bitch. Yeah, that's brilliant. Everyone's gonna use that now. That's the that's the only way I can think of. Yeah, you ever see like in like some of the like movies like with like millionaires or whatever, and they'd be like, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't take papers. You have to hand them to me. Like the assistant will pick it up. Yeah, it should happen like Iron Man or some shit. Like they'll try to uh, like I've seen in movies like they'll try to add Iron Man something and he'd be like, yeah, I don't touch stuff like that. <laughs> and then Pepper will take it because you didn't. He never got it. What what movie is this now? Pepper. Did you oh, it's a movie called Pepper. Pepper? No, 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 no. What's that about? Pepper's Iron... in the... What Pepper do? Secretary? Iron Man. That's a guy? It's a movie made billions of dollars by a billionaire named Tony Stark who created a suit out of iron. Flies around. It's like one of you guys' is good friends. You know, one of the favorite movies, favorite characters. Tony Stark, that's Ghostface. Nope. We got the moniker from the actual Turner Stark, who is Iron Man. Hmm. For real? Interesting. Interesting. They also they also pushed all the movies back for those that care. But they pushed all the movies, Marvel movies back like three months. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it's fucked up. Again? Yeah, fucking COVID, man. That shit gonna be weird. Flash and Black Panther 2 gonna come out like right at the same time. Dun, dun, dun. Man, I gotta get a lot of popcorn ready. Y'all don't give a fuck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> get two shits. <laughs> um, what y'all think about the Buster shit? Yo, man. You know, as the greatest of the generation, I could see nobody wanting to face Buster. You know, yeah, so man, like in a in y'all that... gotta tell the story though, because I I'll be fucking that shit up. So Buster Rhymes, <laughs> you know, versus battles been popping for the past year or whatever. And Buster Rhymes been wanting to do a versus, but he's saying he can't find an opponent because everybody's scared of him. Mm -hmm. It's been names thrown out, and Buster said, Ain't nobody coming to the table. That's the right, story. Rightfully so. Hey man, do you think? Him and Ja Rule would have been a good. Um, thing. no. Especially if Ja was gonna be skipping amazing songs. <laughs> yeah, Ja wasn't gonna play the R. Kelly joints. Ah. Um, I've heard Buster and Eminem, and I thought that was very interesting. What? 
Very interesting. Yeah. That's trash. I heard that more than one time. Because I heard Buster and Missy. That's what I heard the most. I heard Buster and Missy, and I feel like people was just saying two people with creative videos. Mm -hmm. If Missy goes into her producer and writer bag, she doesn't have anybody to battle. If she, if you start talking the shit that Missy wrote, like they do sometimes, or just B Missy beats that she produced, Missy give she gonna give a nigga a long night, and that's outside of her catalog. Her her catalog alone, somebody gonna have a long night. That's why ain't nobody. They're both kind of in the same space where uh, nobody they don't have nobody to compete with. Yeah, I heard. I mean, but I mean that. But Buster got some people to compete with. It's just, Ooh. but once again, a lot of them have done it already. No, somebody said Q-tip. I thought that was stupid. I think, I think it's like nigga, no. But I mean, is but not see Q-tip. Q-tip makes sense for one. First off, Buster, um, his first look was with Q-tip, so they're doing that. Yeah, and then um. You know, Tribe Called Quest has an extensive catalog. Do they? Yes. Okay, scenario with a with your turn. Wait, oh, not not today, man. What Benita Applebaum? <laughs> not not today. Benita Applebaum. Not today. She got it going on, man. Who else? Yo, what was it about Y Clef? <clears throat> uh, y Clef and Buster Rhymes was supposed to battle. I just heard something about that. Yes. None of these people right now we are naming can compete with Missy. Oh, Buster Rhymes and Q-Tip? No, Buster. I, I, no, we got Buster and Missy on one side, and we're trying to find somebody to match these people. Right now, Q-Tip ain't going to be able to do it. The music's too old. Because the only thing he had semi-current was vibrant thing. I mean, they, they put out a, never mind. So nobody cares about that album, Lanza. You know it. This shit wasn't jamming. What does Missy have current, if that's the talk? No, current as in when they were current. Ain't Buster ain't doing nothing from that new album, but I'm saying, I'm saying Q-Tip didn't have nothing popping when Missy, since from Missy coming out to her leaving the way. Yeah, the show. But it, but if she didn't have nothing before, then what's the conversation? They're both just playing their music from their prime. It's not one's not better because it's because you came out later. Well, but well, bus can go. Bus has a a a longer track record, right? So with if you say with Missy, all right, where's bus gonna pull from? He gonna pull from old shit. He gonna pull from shit when he was hot and and, and whoever he's going against may or may not have been around. And then the most newer shit, right? Uh, Missy's gonna pull from whatever she was hot from and production shit. Q-Tip's just gonna be pulling from old shit. He's just gonna be pulling from old shit and vibrant things. So yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Am I missing something? I mean, I, it depends on if you're saying old shit because, I mean, Q-Tip has newer music. He got shit with Anderson Pop that came out recently. He got shit with Andre 3000 that came out recently. The songs that are going to be played, we're talking here. The people listen to. Or, so the, the, that's the thing about, like, even, I didn't watch KRS and Big Daddy Kane. I didn't see it. But I'm sure they wasn't playing a bunch of hits. They was playing. It was hip hop shit. Eh. I, as a as a nigga who wasn't around at this time, I knew a fair amount of these songs. But like, yeah, you yeah, you you'll, know, you'll understand how many Tribe Called Quest songs that you know once they start playing. Yeah, uh, scenario. Benita Applebaum. Those was hits. I, I'm. I, 
Hey, man, hey. Is, is, hey, does Buster have to face, I mean, I get the Missy thing, but, man, why is it, I am mean, I don't know, man. Listen, I man. I don't even want to say this out loud, man, but do a good, I ain't even going to say it out loud. That's what I'm going to say. it, man. Nah, nah, man. Go ahead, man. Nah, man, hey, it's, hey, it's that ridiculous, fuck? man. People go. I've been got DMs of saying dumb shit, man. So I'm just keep this one. Man, text me the dumb shit. I'll say it. Look, Buster got okay. Put your hands where my eyes can see. Break your neck. Uh, touch it. Give me some more. What's it gonna be? Uh, look over your shoulders. No, no, nobody cares about that. Bus twelve. Um, don't go featuring Q-Tip. Y'all know that one? I don't. Uh, woo ha. Okay, uh, New York shit hurt. I got you all in check. Get low. That was a good no, that's a get low remix. I'll take that off. Has to Cavassier. Damn. What is going to be with Janet Jackson? Uh, but he don't got nothing for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, if you give it to me, me I give, give it to you. you. You know what I mean? You know I got it. <laughs> this is all fucked up because they got his new album mixed in here. Like that shit's jumping. A rap money. Uh uh, I love my bitch. No, nobody's gonna check for respect my conglomerate. Uh digga 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 dig. That's that's 10. And I know I'm leaving some shit out. That was only ten. Out tons of shit. Buster I'm got leaving out. out tons of shit. Buster got all kind of features. Is Buster Rhymes has a and Buster Rhymes is one of the best performers in hip hop. So he's gonna put a show on. That's why it should be LL because that moniker used to be LL before Buster arrived. Time out. What what show is he gonna put on on that versus stage that we haven't seen yet? The Buster Brahms one. He's the best. Okay. So he's gonna bring in extra production. No. Most most people are just coming up. They bring in their people and they bring in as much as they can and they in the ring. They in that circle. What's what's what else he gonna do? No, Ice skates just no. him and Spliff and a microphone is the best show in hip hop, kind of uh, unanimously. And the only other person I've ever heard mentioned with him is LL. Did I? Y- y'all tell me if I missed something. I've never heard of anybody even in the conversation with him except for LL. I heard uh, Ducky Fresh. Dougie Fresh, yes. Um, um, it's gonna get slim BMX. after that. X, BMX. I'll give you X. X, I'll give you X. Um, hmm. Yeah, Buster Rhymes is known as one of the best performers ever. Um, but this was then, like when I was telling you, there was like the Eminem talk, and the 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 logic behind the Eminem talk was because Buster and Eminem do a lot of silly shit, mm-hmm. and the only way to make it make sense for Eminem to be battling someone, it has to be someone else who has that kind of thing if you got eminem battling somebody serious all that shit gonna sound goofy what if a body washed up on bt's beach (laughs) 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 and that's what i've been thinking about man man. (laughs) what if it was somebody we've been looking for too (laughs) oh shit tupac um <laughs> <laughs> um uh, I just don't know if M 
M has all of the music. Does he? Yes. Does he? Yes. Does he? All of the music is there. It's just. But is it though? Absolutely. But is it though? <laughs> Yo, man, M strikes me as past the fun though. So he wouldn't even consider this. He don't seem like he ready to like, he done with fun. I don't know. I just don't. Okay. Eminem lyrically is Eminem lyrically. Uh, look at me now. Um, Eminem lyrically is Eminem lyrically, right? But when you start talking Eminem music, as a nigga that likes Eminem, M don't have nothing jamming. Like he don't, that's not his bad. He don't have club music. He don't have nothing that's going, he got songs that are familiar to us. But like you said, that shit gonna sound goofy, but Bust don't have goofy music. He got silly videos, but he don't have music that's just like, <laughs> it doesn't happen. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think Eminem performs that type of shit. That's what he got to perform. What do you think he's gonna perform? I Those think Eminem. Hits. Yeah. No. 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 Eminem. Every every album for a while, he would have that one goofy first single. That I'm Slim Shady. That real Slim Shady type shit. But then right after that, it'll be like uh, I am who I say I am, type shit. This is what he performs at concert. Nah, bro, that nigga, there's, then there's definitely, then there's really, then this absolutely can't happen. There's no, okay, okay, okay. If M not going to do the real Slim Shady, he not going to do, um, he's not going to do that. That's the real Slim Shady. You saying the same song. Wait. Oh, real Slim Shady, if you're not going to do, uh, Hi, My Name Is. If he's not gonna do uh um, oh, how, how my name is is not the real Slim Shady. Uh this looks like a good job for like, me, so everybody just follow me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think he performs those songs. Then that nigga does, does not have a chance. <laughs> oh, I, I, I haven't seen him in concert. I just don't believe he performs. Listen, man, he got if if he don't do that, he got I am who I say I am, Stan. Lose yourself. He got the shit with Dre, don't he? He got the shit no, with Dre. Yeah, they got like, yeah, keep going. Yeah, uh, yes, you're right. And about two or three of them shits is goofy as fuck. Even songs like "Patiently Waiting," like M, I think Eminem performs those kind of songs in in his show. But I have not been to an Eminem show. Oh, let's try this. I'm gonna try to Google. cleaning out my closet. That shit gonna sound stupid as fuck in a versus against Buster Rhymes. It, it can't be Eminem. Eminem can't. I'm gonna try to Google the Eminem set list and see if it comes up. Okay. I think I, I think 50's interesting. I think 50's interesting. I think I think 50 LL, because if LL LL can reach into the nostalgia. Because LL's music has has aged so well. Mama said, knock you out. I'm bad. Um, uh, hey, lover. Fucking um, head sprung. Fuck, all that shit's not going to sound as dated as some of uh, the artists that came out with him. I don't know what was going on with his production, but it doesn't, it's not going to sound as, it ain't going to sound as, as, as dated. So you you congratulate an LL Cool J's production, like they made music that uh, stuck around. Is that what you? Yeah, think? I mean, look, L got well, Mama said knock you, and I'm just go off the top of my head. Mama said knock you out. Uh, Hands I'm, uh, I'm bad. Um, the, As I sit in my room and I look at the wall, hey, I, uh, in, I hear my patients call. I need love. I in, hey, lover. Uh, doing it. Um. 
What's the other? What's the other LL shit? The uh, I, he might is it, is LL doing phenomenon? <laughs> Man, you are <laughs> you are naming a lot of interesting shit. Is LL doing something like a pheno- phenomenon? <laughs> So look, hey, so this is the tough part, right? The smile today. He never I found that. a set list, but it's it's from a 2019 tour, the Kamikaze tour. Mm-hmm. So that so when they're doing that, a lot of times they're playing songs off that album because it's yes. that tour. Um, but like till I collapse. Until uh, yeah. 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 I collapse. Doing uh 3 a.m. What? Yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning with the video with the chainsaw and shit in it. Uh, Berserk. What's the Berserk one with the hard. choices? When the Berserk, guy Berserk is talking about guilty conscience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More goofy shit. Guilty oh, that's con- a that's a great song. I don't think that's. Goofy. I love that shit. I I I, I don't goofy. think it's goofy. It's uh, goofy sen- sen- Cinderella. You gonna send slap deep horns? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cinderella Man. He's not gonna perform these songs. Uh, Criminal Man is great. Criminal. Um, Fall. I would have to. I would have to hear what Fall is. Uh, Forever. That was Forever. You talking about the LeBron? With him and Drake and Wayne and all that shit. Greatest. I would have to hear it. Um, just don't give a fuck. What? So if oh, I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I kill you. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, like yes. toy soldiers. Yeah. Uh, uh, lose yourself. Way too much introspective shit. Keep going. Love Keep going the way you. Stuff. Love the way you lie with Rihanna. Big trash. Lucky you. That was the one with him and Jordan Lucas. Nope. I think that was. I think. I think that was the most recent Eminem song that people really, really fucked with. What? Which one? Lucky you. Hey, you talking about that Big Sean song? Y'all heard that Big Sean? I thought that was what that was. Lucky you. Nah, no, no, it was no that Lucky you, and then the one that was on um. The one that was on um fucking I'm about to I'm about to it was on his latest album. The one with um juice on it, juice man. Uh does Buster Rhymes bring out yeah, MG Godzilla Kane? with Juice World? What's that? Yeah, I said yeah, King Kong, King Kong or something. Godzilla. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, Lizard Man. The um does the <laughs> Even if I let, let's give the, the benefit of the doubt to Eminem musically, M's some of M's biggest songs are way. Even if I said that they played in a stadium well, they're way too introspective, way too much of this me and somebody. I'm gonna stand here and watch the, he can bring out Rihanna and wouldn't nobody give a fuck. Are you saying this is because he's going against Busta Rhymes? Yeah, because they're doing it in, because of the way that they're doing it now, right? This is a stadium. This is a stadium. This is like... It's not a stadium. Arena. 10,000 plus. Theater. Yeah, theater arena. You're talking about... If they stadium do- is football field. Stadium is 50,000. That's not what Versus is doing. Versus is doing like football, like ba- NBA. They're stuff. doing a bingo hall. Oh, like a basketball ar- arena. I don't think it's that many, but but we can keep. No, not when they're at uh, MSG. But if Eminem's there, it, it, it's gonna be fucking ridiculous. But the music's way too introspective. Even like the some of his biggest songs, like "Cleaning Out My Closet," ain't gonna play well in a Versus against much of anything. Yeah, but I'm 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 looking at. Till I collapse, Godzilla, lucky you forever, lose yourself, forgot about Dre, rap God. Like, I think those not afraid, like that's not what that is. Afraid for, like, I don't think those songs are as big as Stan, Not Afraid, 
um, uh, I'm sorry, mom, like cleaning out my closet. I don't think that so, those so, Superman, but I'm not talking about the way I am. I'm not talking about bigger. We just talking about what ring off, but like no love with Lil Wayne, but patiently waiting again. But another patiently thing, waiting's is, great. Another thing is, uh, with all verses, it'd be a lot of we've we've all watched verses, and we'd be like, why the fuck is he not playing this? Right, and that that's who knows. I think I th anybody with that. I think you. I think you'd be better served. You know who'd have been like. Uh, um, I feel like Fab. Um, I'm trying to think of somebody who has some more mid to slower tempo songs, where M can be in the M bag, right? Like doing shit that he kind of fuck with. Uh, what's the the song with him? Um, uh, with him and Jay, um, Renegade. Renegade. Uh, but um, you, and even Renegade is like at a slower tempo for him to get bars off. So it's like you really need somebody who's heavily barred up and more introspective, like because it, it has a few of those. You know, uh, what you said, like not till I collapse, but till I collapse, yes, and. The one you keep, we keep saying the one with 50. Oh, patiently waiting. You need, you need some more of those. He need like five patiently waitings. <laughs> he need like five to nine patiently waitings for Buster because, because Bust show is so animated, man. And no, and, and outside of, so, okay. Bust and Spliff are known as the best performers because of, it's like energy. It's like nigga, the, they gonna come. He Buzz gonna come up. M comes out and delivers one of his smashes. Him and Rihanna, right? In this girl, right? Cause I like the way it hurts. Just gonna stand. It's all dreamy and, and all this fuckery. And then he's like, in the crowd, like, oh, yeah. And he's like, Buzz, like, all right, y'all ready? Touch it, bring it. Back. It's like nigga, it don't match at all. Because yeah, Buzz don't have no songs like that. He got a few songs for women, but he don't have no. Buzz got a whole lot of club bangers, some lyrical shit, and then some songs for chicks. He don't have none of that introspective shit. You know, did you ever see Jay live? I did. Yeah. And you know how Jay used to end the concert with the um, with the it's like the song that. We were, it was one of those put the lighter in the air songs. It was like uh, it's a song. The uh, not I did it my way, but it's one of them type of songs. It's just like a super introspective song. It was like a song that Jay liked. It was like, bro, I mean, this is cool. But when I saw that nigga, and they ended on fucking niggas in Paris. That was way better. <laughs> it was like, it was like, what's yeah. that? Hold on, I'm, trying, I'm trying to look up a Buster Rhymes set list, but I pretty I kind of know I kind of feel like I know what Buster Rhymes will play in a concert. I mean, when he just did the uh MTV awards the other day, he did like nine songs in a row, and I know that nigga was leaving shit off. And that shit was put put your hands where my eyes could see any up scenario, touch it, look at me now, pass to Cavassier. Um, that sound like the uh, MTV set list. Yeah, break your neck, a rap money. Nobody, nobody challenging that. Maybe, just maybe, versus is catered to somebody like Buster Rhymes that really nobody could touch, unless their energy is completely different. Like, let's just say, like a Kanye, somebody that's gonna take you yes. away that's just way somewhere else. Because if someone is is trying to match that, like let's just say an Eminem, they're not going to match it. They're going to fall short. So I don't think he has a competitor unless it's someone that no one is mentioning I, right now. I like LL a lot. Cause LL has, even like, like what you're saying, Mike, like even if the, let's say the performance ain't as big, the music should sound big. Like 
50 is not like a big performer. 50 is, <laughs> he's pretty much this the whole show. <laughs> like, but 50's music is big. You know what I mean? Like, the, like, but even like, like somebody like Lance, like if you said 5th and M was going to go against each other, I was like, okay. Because 5th has more introspective shit. You got, um, he has the many men and um, I'm supposed to die tonight. Nah, I'm supposed to die tonight is, is iffy, but like, uh, what the song with him and Game? Um, hate it or love it. You know what I mean? Like that. That, but you don't hate it or love it. I don't know. That's why I, that I really wanted. I I I feel like Ti should have took that battle with with Bus. Said Ti and Buster Ron. Yeah, because if you're just talking good. club hits, I feel like Ti will kind of hold his own, give or take the venue. I think T.I. would be fine. I think, I think that's I think, a good battle. Yeah. Yeah. I think T.I., for whatever reason, just wanted to battle 50 Cent. I don't know why there was he was so... And kind of still, I just heard him talk about it recently. Like he's so like, no, me and him. I don't know why that is, but... He, I, I, well, I think part of it is the time frame that he's, he said Buster can reach into a bag of nostalgia that I don't have. Bus is like 20 years my senior. Bus can go into scenario. He could go into fuck even hands where my eyes could see. T.I. was like, nigga, I was not out at that time. Me and Fifth came out almost at the same time. And I feel like T.I. feel like he was always competing with that nigga. And if you're the underdog in most verses, ideally you want to box up because it it's a better battle. Same thing that we're seeing like with the J.D. Puff thing. Like, niggas be discounting JD. So he's like, no, nigga, I want that nigga. Like, you, no, I'm not battling the track master. Some niggas, we've never seen their faces before. I want the either Puff or Dre. One of y'all bring y'all ass outside. So look at this. You don't want nobody that calls you out. You want somebody that you would call out. Yes. If, if, uh, Iceberg, Iceberg Slim, if fucking, Young Berg just started saying, hey, man, J JD, let's go. It's like, nigga, stay over there with your little hits. I don't have time to deal with this. <laughs> hey, Puff, what's up? You supposed to, you know what I mean? You slap the biggest bully. Yeah, and, that, and then Puff is doing the same thing, talking to Dre. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. However, but I don't know. I don't know. You're talking about two people that ran generations, not was part of it. You're talking Puff ran a portion of time. So in a 20 song versus, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, against who? Against who Dre. Talking? Who am I taking? In, in Dre versus Puff? Sure. <sighs> Here's the thing. I'm a bigger fan of Puff, and I'm taking Dre just off the just off the sound. I mean, Dr. Dre don't have an equal. I mean, just because you know Puff, man, he was borrowing a lot of beats, man. He was bringing, he got verses, he got. I'm talking like big verses that are just destroyed. You know, oh man, I, yo Dr. man, keep talking, y'all. Damn it, Dr. Dre don't have an equal. Doc, the and and the the thing, this the interesting thing about Puff. That's like a saving grace for Puff. Is he might be on a song just talking, and he like, nah, nigga, I'm on here. Like he's Puff is on songs just talking, but his energy is he's created that to where him talking on your song adds value to the song. Dre has a uh, Dre has a Achilles heel. Dre has a um a, a, a weak spot. Or to my R and B. Yep. But that we when we talking about hip hop producers. No, nah, we talk about verses. Cause in the verses of hits, you know, it, it's all good until niggas get into that R and B bag. Like, you know, give or take. Like, let's Dre don't have no songs for women. Bitches ain't shit. <laughs> Who you thought that was for? <laughs> it wasn't for his niggas because they already know it. It's for his ex-wife. 
<laughs> Tried to serve that nigga yeah. at his goddamn grandmother's funeral. <laughs> Yo, she icy. But hoes and tricks. Yeah, um, yeah, there. If you, if I, I, I don't know if Kanye has it either. I'm sure. I feel, I feel like Dre. I feel like a nigga could get Dre. I'm I'm for certain Dr. Dre don't have an equal. No, not okay. man. Not if you talking twenty songs. No, Kanye. That don't even sound fun, actually. Kanye. Don't sound like they should even. And I, I also I also don't think Kanye has an equal either. But I think it's on different ends of the spectrum. Because because when you when you talking Kanye, you're talking about seven solo albums yeah we're not talking about that with dr j we're talking about two and a half solo albums mm -hmm. and then what he done for everybody else okay so if that's the case then jd what about talking about jd and and dr j jd got two solo albums yeah 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 but it it, it, it ain't the chronic and it ain't the it's chronic it's definitely not the chronic, even though seventeen forty two is fucking amazing. Is that the uh, name of JD's album? Yeah, life in life in fourteen seventy two. Fourteen seventy two. Oh. Yeah, it's not the chronic. Nope. But, but the chronic is arguably the greatest hip hop album of all time. And that's not my favorite Dr. Dre album. I love it. I definitely like two thousand one better. That that lets you know how crazy Dr. Dre's catalog is. That two two thousand and one is is perfect to me, I I because there's there's songs on on Chronic that I can I'm like eh, all right, I'm a good I'm good or with or without this because we, Doctor Dre literally, like, okay we we can talk about let's talk we can talk about and I don't like to do this because then it sounds like you're slighting someone else but that's not what I'm doing, we just have to point these things out about Doctor Dre. Dr. Dre has had the biggest mm. artist in hip hop five times. And when he had him, he brought him in five times. Snoop. Jermaine Dupree's Park. never done that. Yeah, Snoop, Pac. Uh, no, 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 he, not Pac. No, 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 not Snoop, Snoop. Snoop Pac, Snoop, Eminem, 50 Cent, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. And who else? And, and That's five. Wait, who was the first one? Cube. Ah. Or, or, or NWA, however you want to look at that. NWA, Snoop, Eminem, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar. Now, Tupac was already an established artist. You know, when he got to death row. It, yeah. It grew, but he was already an established artist. Got you, got you, got you. And then we're not even, now we not, we not, we haven't even talked about people like the dog pound with corrupt and dads. That, that's really and what we, I want to see. Keep going. We, we, ain't, we ain't touched game mm. and, and what he was able to do. You know that 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 Dr. Dre thing is 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 really 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 it's it's a lot, and but like you say it it is it is real hip hop. Now I know Dr. Dre done some stuff with with Mary J. Yeah. I don't know what I I because I I and I'm not the best person to know who made every beat. You got I, I got friends like that who know. Nah, Dre produced, and I I'm not that person. You got what's name? You got uh, Truth Hurts. Truth Hurts. <laughs> he turns our pages. <laughs> I don't know why I used to have a crush on Truth Hurts, and I always knew she wasn't the cutest, but I was okay with her face. You and me both. You and me both. It was something about you know what it is. It's it's like she was new. She hadn't you. She you, she didn't seem uh, ran through. You like oh it's a new girl at school. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I was same way about Khalees when Khalees first came out. I was like oh that's my girl Red. Bingo. So she was she was a transfer to the school. Yeah, she had just got there. She was off. Yeah, yeah. and y'all y'all birthdays was like in the same month. Man, 
Big, big, that's my boo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Bus, bus is gonna be, bus is gonna be interesting, but because you, because job would have definitely been a better battle, but because you need, you need nine to eleven smashes that are like club level smashes. It gotta be that. It might need to go and bring T Pain back out of retirement or some shit like. And, and M don't have that. M has a lot of huge songs, but not shit that niggas is, the, the memories don't match. And ideally, that's what you want. I really want them to go back to the lower level battles. Like, I want to see Daz and Corrupt, or, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to see Corrupt and Daz in, in a fucking versus. That would be really interesting. Hey, Daz versus Corrupt? No, 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 no. Daz and Corrupt. Oh. <laughs> Daz and Corrupt versus somebody. Yeah, I mean, ideally, they was you would look at people like Mob D. I don't think it's the same with Prodigy gone. Right. Who? You know, because like somebody, you say groups? No, no, no. no somebody, going. it's like somebody else is like Outcast. Yeah. But if you're talking about groups, Outcast don't really have an equal. Like Fair. duos? Definitely not duos. Outcasts don't have an equal. So you can put them up against Wu Tang, but that's not a, that's, that's nine niggas. Yeah, I mean that's 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 nine niggas. You know what I mean? And and they're gonna be doing all kind of stuff. And that, and it's gonna look crazy because they might not win. <laughs> with all, with all. It's gonna look it's gonna look real crazy because Andre not gonna be there. It's gonna look real crazy because neither is ODB and they're gonna be playing all his shit. <laughs> the did you um you, so if Missy don't go against Buster, who goes against Missy? Uh I, I you gonna be hard pressed trying to uh, find a female that could go with Missy. Even yeah. if even with Nikki involved, you gotta it's, it's gonna be a hard night. Yeah, Nikki's the only person, the only woman I could think of if 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 that's the conversation. Nikki's. It don't got it don't gotta be. It don't gotta oh. be a woman. It's gotta be somebody talented. Yeah. Lauren Hill. I don't know if she got the 20. She a dog walk. She got a yeah. she got a strong 12 though. Yeah, she got a 14, strong 14, 14 even. I give her 14. Well, yeah. So then she start freestyling and bring out some guests. <laughs> yeah, she do a song with Nas. Because other than that, she, yeah, she going on. It, it, Nikki's problem, I mean, uh, Nikki, Missy's problem is the production bag. If she get into the production bag, it just it just ends up really be like that, that random ass Monica song. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> damn, that's hot. That's 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 mm -hmm. Missy. That's Missy. That's Missy behind the boards. That song dope too. Yeah, nigga. I don't want your hair and your hair. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, y'all get none it. Of that. Dre don't. Dre don't have none of those. Dre don't have nothing that's gonna make women go crazy and niggas gotta shut the fuck up. I know a good, I know a good comp for Missy. I just figured it out. Hmm. Drake. No. Two different generations? Two, no. <laughs> well, Drake's one of them, he don't have an equal thing. This is, okay. They all can't all not have an equal. No, the, the, here's them the, gotta go against each other. The people that I feel like don't have an equal. I feel, I understand, I understand that Dre, the Puff, the JD thing, like they kind of got to compete within themselves some kind of way, right? And it's really nobody else kind of up there. Then there's like the Kanye, Jay-Z, Drake, Chris Brown thing. They got to kind of compete with themselves because there ain't really nobody else up there. It's like rarefied air. Um, I guess you could throw Nas in there. Hey man, uh, does no one mention Wayne because yeah, it's Wayne. unanimous that he just probably the greatest rapper of all time? Max. Is that why he's never mentioned? 
that's who should go against Buster. Is Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Nah, nah, nah. Yes. There's no um. There's no uh. There's he in his own world. There's nobody for. Dude. I'm not even saying no, 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 no. Because Bust is so big, because he's such a, a performance, he needs an Achilles heel to make the battle. What's name? It's like yeah, he might be a better performer than Wayne, but he ain't got more music than Wayne, and Wayne got the music to make this a really rough night for Buzz. Wayne, Wayne and Wayne really loves Buster Rhymes. And they got music together. Hey, look at me now. They're both on there, right? Mm-hmm. They end the night with look at me now. That's who should go against them. Mm. Oh, just got a tweet. Little Wayne is one of the niggas that said no. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that that that's the that's the guy. Lil Wayne makes perfect sense. I'm Hold on, Manny. Manny. Manny Vent. Manny. 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 That's who you talking to? That's who you talking to? Manny Vent. That's, that's Manny Vent in the background. Oh. Okay. Buster Rhymes in a versus against who? BT says the Eminem thing is ridiculous and it shouldn't happen because Eminem don't. Eminem is the only one that. Eminem, no, Eminem is the only one that makes sense for Eminem. Like, Buster Rhymes is the only one that makes sense for Eminem. Yeah. Because everybody else, because Buster Rhymes is black, but he's not the street nigga, nigga, nigga. Because anybody else Eminem go against, niggas just automatically like, no, get that out of here because he's spitting that. What about Bubble Sparks for Eminem? Wait, man, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. I like that, I like that. He said, don't leave. I don't know how he seen you off camera about to walk out. I was about, man, I was about to say BT versus somebody, but I forgot we live, man. I ain't gonna play nobody like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so BT says Buster versus Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see that, though. But, I don't either. Yeah. Somebody yeah. says Buster versus Luda. Luda get, yeah, Luda get cooked. But that's. Yeah. But I would watch it. Luda get cooked, but I'd watch it though. I mean, I'd watch any of these, but. The, the, the reason I think that Wayne is interesting is because I don't know who wins. I, I want to say Wayne wins. Oh, you should. You should just say it. <laughs> That's what you say that shit. Hey, nah, I think the best possible battle for Buster Rhymes would really be Eminem, bro. Because they both animated as fuck. They both crazy performers. They both lyric. You ain't, ain't neither one of them niggas finna out rap each other. And they both got the hits with them rapping hella good in the hits. That shit ain't jamming though, bro. Okay. <laughs> M don't M don't have like no, 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 like M doesn't have a M, some of M's biggest songs are very introspective and it just don't compare to what's going to be the biggest songs for Buzz. Buzz got like damn near all club music and a few songs for chicks. I understand what you're saying. Like the performance thing, like, like if you put M against across from a real nigga outside of 50, the shit going to look crazy. But it's like stand there and watch him burn and it's all right because I love the way to hurt. It just, it's going to sound crazy when this nigga play past the Colossier. Why are you going to the most bogus like... <laughs> That's, that might be one of his highest selling songs. You got to do that. He's not even going to perform on that. He going to perform Stan? Yes. If he's going to perform uh, Spaghetti on the, on the sweater. He's not going to perform Stan, is he? Yeah, no, he has to. Yeah, Stan, Stan got to come out. That's what, what I'm saying, say? Mike. These are Stan, the you saying lose yourself, even lose yourself. I'm not. I'm not in denial for what lose yourself is. I'm saying, like, okay, you like if a nigga. What, what we've seen is if a nigga got a chick record, then you hit a you follow with a chick record. If a nigga got some slow shit that you follow with a slow shit for the vibe of the actual show, M got hella big, slow, lower tempo songs. Bust don't have none of them. He don't have none. I, he got like two songs for chicks, nigga. 
He got the the baby doo 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 and he got the song with Janet, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is high energy, touch it, pass the look at me now. Everything is high energy, and M don't have that unless you go to the goofy shit. And y'all telling me that the nigga's not gonna do rump 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 rump. <laughs> Keep going. I like this impression. Rum 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 rum. Rum 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 and I'm rum rum. Yeah, I mean, we was talking about lose yourself and the way I am, and the new shit with Juice World and the lucky me with Jordan Lucas. You shouldn't have to say the new shit with Juice World. We should really know what that song. God, Godzilla. I just. No, I know what you're talking about, but I'm saying. I couldn't think of the that song. But the funny thing is, the way you're talking about Eminem, that's the way niggas look at Busta Rhymes too. To be honest with you, you ain't, heard, you ain't heard niggas playing Busta Rhymes music, bro. You ain't heard it. You ain't seen it either. You ain't pulled up on the side of somebody blasting Busta Rhymes. That's never happened. I'm agreeing right now with the main event. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> but you will hear Buster in other places. You might not go out and see your Buster, but the nigga never. He was all like, of course, like a uh, perfect example. Like if you're saying, uh, "Put your hands where my eyes can see," or "Woo ha" versus like um, one of the silly songs, right? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm with you. But after that, nigga. You heard Touch It in the club. You, did. you heard Pass the Cavassier in the club. You heard some of Bus's biggest club records in the club. You heard that shit. Even if I ain't ride there, let's do it. I, they definitely played the fuck out of it once I got there. And that's and, where they host in the competition. And, and nobody but BT. Mm. As much of a hit as he was, just like as much as it hit uh, uh, the real Slim Shady was, Who's taking Pastor Cavarcier serious, my nigga? Seriously. Who listens to Pastor Cavarcier and feel like in the club? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> They're even. No, They're I'm even. I'm no, I'm with you. Nobody is is no. with nobody's with nobody's going out of their way to say, oh man, you know what I got to hear today? Pass Cavarcier. Put your hands where my eyes can see, right? That's going to be one that, that niggas really probably take serious for show. And then you got the one where he rapped hella fast a, a few years ago with uh, now who was on the song? Chris Brown? Chris and Lil Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, niggas gonna, yeah. Niggas gonna fuck with that for show. But the rest is gonna be like, oh yeah, this is a Busta Rhymes song. You never even heard anybody say Busta Rhymes is their favorite rapper, which is weird because he is definitely good enough to be somebody's favorite rapper, but Niggas don't even take Buster serious like that, bro. Uh, but but you know, but where they do take them the serious. The same way niggas don't take Eminem serious. But the way that they do take Bus serious is the performance. Pascal Cavassier, I'm not going to seek that shit out. But when the nigga performs I say Buster. <laughs> where to go, man? Yeah. yeah. And it looks like. Even, even, even I said I ass getting big now. taking serious. Nigga, that's <laughs> hey, even even the songs that should be taken serious would have been taken serious if it was Lil Wayne's song or somebody like that. Like, baby, if you give it to me, I give it or or if 50 said that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas would take it more serious across the lines, bro. And I think that's why Eminem would be the best, that'd be the best verses, bro. The most disrespected rappers. <laughs> <It'd be> a, <laughs> yes. Be a verses of disrespected great rappers. I you know, Buster Rhymes is one of those artists who has been great for very, 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 very long time, and people consider him to be one of those people who don't have a classic album when he probably got two or three. Which is nuts, because he got yeah. two for sure. Yeah, two. ELE is fucking phenomenal. But this, this, is, Bust, Bust, this, is, Buster, this is Buster Rhymes' gripe with hip-hop. It's like, it's like Buster has been great for this whole time. And that is niggas do not seek out Buster Rhymes. Niggas always, when it's a list, Buster Rhymes ain't never on it. I love Bust though. I personally and love that ELE album. Like I jam that shit all the time. But that's the one though, that one ELE album. 
The first one. And, and, and is it because he raps fast? I think it's because he don't rap about enough uh, oh my God, nigga! We have nigga. Who, Lance? Who you said earlier uh, was untouchable? Dr. Dre. Nigga, nigga, we're totally leaving off all the Big Bang shit. Yeah, we're totally no. leaving off the the Rick J uh, and Buzz. We're leaving, nigga. Buzz. No, no, touch it, touch it is Big Bang. But nigga, uh, that was like New York shit. That was um, we mentioned those songs. No, we didn't. That was, I mean, the 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 song with Rick James is, I mean, that's a, I mean, I'd rather listen to Rick James. Right? <laughs> that's, that's some street songs, Ghetto Life. It just, yeah, Ghetto Life. We didn't mention, we didn't mention Ghetto Life. We didn't mention. I, I, I would be very surprised if he performed Ghetto Life at a concert. Get, uh, in the ghetto. Uh, in that, the ghetto. That's, that's the same song. Then there's a nut. What's the, uh, oh, Been Through the Storm, the Stevie Wonder song. Um. I love my bitch. Whew. Yeah, nigga. I love my bitch. I love my nigga. Hey, man, this is starting to sound real. I love the way you lie. Hey, come on, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Going with him, bro. M should go against an introspective rapper. That's just he should go against Joe Budden. Oh, all right, guys. Hey, man, it's been another episode of Black T University, man. Hey, man, y'all have a blessed weekend, man. Rum, 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 rum,